Okay, so a while ago I brought a homeless man a baguette to chat on and this, like, I asked him how did you end up here and this is his story. Everybody wants their last moments to be their best. And nobody wants that early morning phone call, that sinister knock on the door to hear the news that frankly your heart will never digest and even after that sharp intake of breath. Your eyes spill over with the salty regrets of lingering words of once upon a night. They said it was a single bullet. And my mind began to orbit the fact that what if he was still here? What if his room didn't smell of musky year old dust of my mother's lovesick grievance? And what if people didn't act on appearance? Appearance has made me internally bound by the shafts of the high pit sound of tyres before the blast. I know people always say it happens far too fast, but one thing I can remember is they made sure the final breaths I witnessed most certainly his last, and looking back on it now, my personal human rights were beyond trespassed. They said it was a random attack. They said it was a random attack based on his race and logic went out the window, but I need to ask a question. Does the colour of your skin really matter? Because as far as I'm concerned, we have the same colour blood pulsing through our veins day after day after day, but every drop of his metallic poison that fell to the pavement was like a universal indicator, changing the way I saw the world to pure acid. Ever since we were little, we were hungry for the words of progression. And ever since we were little, we promised we'd travel the world together, but something struck me. The sun hides away from both polar ends, starving both of their freedoms of movement, but is stillness regression? Because in the middle of both poles is a lost little world, one's winter in between the warm and the cold, like ever since he was an infant, he had cold hands for such warm heart. And as I lay there with him, I felt his fingers go numb. I watched him <coughs> struggle to move his cold lips to say, I'm sorry. And even now, I unconsciously ponder over the fact that he used his last words to apologise. To apologise because of a race he had no control over. Because people's judgement is opinion in the absence of evidence as racism isn't born, it is taught. But what should be learned is that our true nationality is mankind.